Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into New World News. And of course, today is the first day of July 2021. And the huge news from last night is that actor and comedian Bill Cosby released from a Pennsylvania prison after serving just two of his three to 10 year prison sentence for uh, sexual assault, sexual crimes against uh, women. Uh, if you're not familiar with the backstory um, of Bill Cosby, he was accused and eventually sentenced to prison, uh, found guilty, sentenced to prison for uh, basically drugging and raping or committing sexual misconduct and uh, sexual uh, crimes against um, fellow employees, employ uh, uh, actors, actresses, um, people that he worked with, friends, people that he met. Uh, there was multiple, multiple accusers um, or victims at this point, and uh, the evidence overwhelming. Um, even some of the things that he admitted and said in a lot of uh, his sit downs, his depositions, his testimonies, um, that he said, yeah, stuff happened, but blah, 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 blah. Uh, it, it was really bad, really bad. And it looked bad. And I'm going to go out on a limb. You know, we always hear about sometimes uh, women or victims of any gender taking advantage of situations or somebody for money because, you know, he's a rich guy, powerful, they can get money out of him. In this case, that's that's almost more than likely not what happened and that this that Bill Cosby was just a bad guy really bad guy and took advantage of his power and and, and fame and and riches and his money to take advantage of these women and drug them and get them to do things uh, that he wanted so uh, eventually um, he was released and this is the kicker because back in 2000 uh, I think it's 2008 years and years ago uh, a, a former prosecutor was verbally and in front of a lot of people made a deal with um, with Cosby to uh, basically agreed not to prosecute him if he would sit down for a deposition and basically talk. Now, in the United States, we have what's called our Fifth Amendment right to not self-incriminate. And what that means is when you plead the fifth, you'll hear people say, I plead the fifth. It basically means that you are not going to give any testimony or evidence or talk about a crime or about a case with anything that could incriminate yourself. You're not, you, you can't be forced to give up information uh, on anything that could hurt your own case. And so um, he agreed to sit down for a deposition, an interview and testify um, and waive his Fifth Amendment right, basically testify and give up information that did hurt him in agreement to not be prosecuted. So then when they came back and eventually prosecuted him, uh, it broke, it became prosecutorial misconduct. The prosecutor basically made a deal, uh, reneged on the deal, went back on it, lied about it, and then prosecuted him and put him in jail. And so on this technical loophole, he had to be released. And the judge has said he can't be retried, which is bonkers. He's now filing a lawsuit. Bill Cosby, the convicted sex offender, is filing a lawsuit against the DA's office, the prosecutor, who put him in jail for his crimes because they made a deal to not put him in jail for testimony, and then they put him in jail anyways because, well, he committed a crime. Okay, so this was published one day ago. Bill Cosby's sex assault conviction overturned by a Pennsylvania court. The Cosby Show actor has served more than two years of a three to ten year sentence at a state Prison. This is by Sasha Savitsky of Fox News. Again, I don't choose my news stories or my websites based on any political leanings, just on who has the best story at the time that it breaks. Bill Cosby's sex assault conviction was overturned by Pennsylvania's highest court. The court said Wednesday, and of course that would be the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, the court said Wednesday that it found an agreement with a previous prosecutor that prevented him from being charged in the case. The disgraced actor has served more than two years of a three to 10 year sentence at a state prison near Philadelphia. He vowed to serve all 10 years rather than acknowledge any remorse over the 2004 encounter with accuser Andrea Constance. So this was of course from 16, 17 years ago, two years ago, it was about 15 years old. So um, this is back in 2004. Cosby, who is 83, he'll be turning 84, uh, who was once beloved as America's dad, was convicted of drugging and molesting the Temple University employee at his suburban estate. The former Cosby Show star was charged in late 2015 when a prosecutor armed with newly unsealed 
evidence, Cosby's damaging deposition from her lawsuit ordered his arrest just days before the 12-year statute of limitations expired. So in other words, he sat down for a deposition and gave damning testimony against himself because he had an agreement to not be prosecuted if he did not waive his Fifth Amendment right to self-incrimination. In other words, he could have said, Fifth Amendment right, I'm not going to self-incriminate, not going to sit down for the deposition. Instead, they said, we won't prosecute you. And he said, OK, cool, I'll do it. And then they used his deposition, his testimony um, against him just days before the statute of limitations expired. So pretty shady way to do business. With that said, he's a bad guy and he should have went to jail. But you got to follow the process of the law. Okay, so the trial judge had allowed just one other accuser to testify at Cosby's first trial when the jury deadlocked. However, he then allowed five other accusers to testify at the retrial about their experience with Cosby in the 80s. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court said that the testimony tainted the trial, even though a lower appeals court had found it appropriate to show a signature pattern of drugging and molesting women. So the lower court thought that it was reasonable, like, hey, look, this guy's got a history of doing what he's doing. The Supreme Court, however, said, look, you can't use this testimony. Here it is. Cosby was the first celebrity tried and convicted in the Me Too hashtag Me Too era, so the reversal could make prosecutors wary of calling other accusers in similar cases. The law and prior bad act testimony varies by state, though, and the ruling only holds sway in Pennsylvania. Prosecutors did not immediately say if they would appeal or seek to try Cosby for a third time. What I read is he cannot be retried. Everything I read said that he is clean and clear now. Not to say that he's off the hook, like he isn't you know, innocent, or he is innocent, but he can't be retried. The justices voiced concern not just about sex assault cases, but also what they saw as the judiciary's increasing tendency to allow testimony that crosses the line into character attacks. The law allows the testimony only in limited cases, including to show a crime pattern so, so specific it serves to identify the perpetrator. So in other words, it's kind of like, hey, look, this guy has a history. So in the case that we're trying now, it makes sense. So that's kind of, you know, they kind of build up your, your past history to give them something to stand on in their current case, which is probably a good point. I mean, if, you know, a lot of people do something once, they're bound to do it again. Uh, in New York, the judge presiding over last year's trial of movie mogul Harry Weinstein, or Harvey Weinstein, excuse me, so we all know about Harvey Weinstein's case, whose case had sparked the explosion of the Me Too movement in 2017, let four other accusers testify. Weinstein was convicted and sentenced to 23 years in prison. He is now facing separate charges in California. In Cosby's case, one of the appellate lawyers said prosecutors put on vague evidence about the uncharged conduct, including Cosby's own recollections of his in his deposition about giving women alcohol or quaaludes before sexual encounters. The presumption of innocence just didn't exist for him, Jennifer Bonjain, the lawyer, argued to the court in December. In May, Cosby was denied parole after refusing to participate in sex offender programs during his nearly three years in state prison. He has long said he would resist the treatment programs and refuse to acknowledge wrongdoing, even if it means serving the full 10-year sentence, which, in my opinion, would be very, very tough for him to make. Another seven years would put him at 90, turning 91 years old. Um, he just did not want to admit to being guilty. This is the first year he was eligible for parole under the three to 10 year sentence handing down after his 2018 conviction. Cosby spokesperson Andrew Wyatt called the parole board decision appalling. Prosecutors said Cosby repeatedly used his fame and family man persona to manipulate young women, holding himself out as a mentor before betraying them. Cosby, a groundbreaking black actor who grew up in a public housing in Philadelphia, made a fortune estimated at four hundred million dollars during his 50 years in the entertainment history his trademark clean comedy and homespun wisdom fueled popular tv shows books and stand-up acts of course he was also on lots of commercials and as a spokesman for many products like jello etc 400 million dollars guys that means he could buy the best legal defense and lawyers money can buy literally he could just hand them a check for $10 million and say, here, make it happen. 
Um, so anyways, uh, he fell from favor in his later years as he lectured the black community about family values, but was attempting a comeback when he was arrested. There was a built-in level of trust because of his status in the entertainment industry and because he held himself out as a public moralist. Cosby had invited Constant to an estate he owns in Pennsylvania the night she said he drugged and sexually assaulted her. Constance, a former professional basketball player who worked at his alma mater, went to police a year later, a year later. The other accusers knew Cosby through the entertainment industry and did not go to the police. So these were co-workers, uh, fellow actors, actresses, Hollywood, you know, people that he uh, networked with and knew and, and got to meet through the industry. And that's where all of these accusations and uh, crimes, uh, you know, supposedly occurred. So there it is. Bill Cosby, actor, comedian, celebrity, millionaire, multi-hundred millionaire, released from jail after serving less than three years of his possible 10-year sentence. Really scary that this guy is getting out of jail, Bill Cosby. I, in all honesty, I thought he would die in jail. I thought he was going to die in jail. The guy's 80 some years old, 84, I think. He still had six, seven years left in a sentence. He'd been 90 plus years old. I didn't think he was getting out of jail, i got to be honest. Between COVID and his, his declining health and his age, it just didn't seem like it was going to happen. And um, it's happened. He's out of, uh, he's out of prison and um, he's now getting to sue the prosecution. So we'll have to see what happens. I'll link the story below. As always, uh, put in the comments. Tell me what you think about Bill Cosby, actor, comedian, millionaire, convicted sex offender, out of prison on this first day of July, 2021, um, because of a technical loophole. It's sad. Sad for his victims, sad for everybody. We'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. I'll update you on the channel. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel, show your support, let me know that you're watching, let me know that you like the videos. You can also leave a comment down below or hit that blue thumb, make that thumb turn blue and like the video, that helps as well. And until the next video, I have plenty of stories coming out. We've got the Trump charges, uh, hurricane forming out in the tropics. Um, we've got the bomb squad explosion video, which is nuts. Uh, the building collapse update. And of course, the Washington football team fined for sexual harassment. Tons of videos coming out today and tomorrow. So do stay tuned to the video and subscribe. As soon as I post them, you'll get a notification that the new video is up and you can come check it out. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.